Welcome back to the channel guys, today we'll be discussing a few steps that you can apply in your life to be ahead of most of the people and what top 1% are doing to achieve their goals and desires. Let me tell you this, if you can apply all these things in your life, you'll be able to master self-belief, confidence and your mental health will improve as well, which will allow you to set and achieve goals that you wouldn't dream of. So stick around and make sure you go step by step through this video with me. My name is Adrian, I'm an editor artist and I'm here to help you to be a better filmmaker and refine your creativity. So let's do that. I talked about belief in a few of my videos now, but I really think that this is one of the most important skills that you can develop, not only as an artist or filmmaker, but as an individual as well. Having strong belief in yourself or what you're trying to accomplish or do is so fundamental in our journey. Without belief, most of the people who are successful right now won't be in that place. To be better in believing, you have to split this into two sections, self-talk, and self-trust. Self-talk is all about having opinion about ourselves, how we perceive ourselves and how our inner voice is shaping our behavior. Self-trust, from the other hand, is all about being clear with ourselves, doing what we believe is right, being honest with ourselves and doing what we're gonna say we're gonna do. That's a lot of information, but to summarize this in a few words, you have to be clear about your goals and what you want, what you're willing to do or not do. Doing what we believe is right is about following your inner compass and finding the path that is true to you. Being honest is about self-reflection and getting to the truth of what you really think, feel and need in life. With this, try not to focus on what the other people want you to do, but what you want. Do what you say you're gonna do. This is about saying and learning to say no and being able to set boundaries so that you can achieve your goals. Sometimes it doesn't really matter if you're knowledgeable about a certain topic or not. Learning is a part of the journey and you can learn along the way. But at the beginning, it's important to be confident in what you know, even if you don't know a lot. So why confidence matter? Well, it matters because our world is constantly changing, especially now with social media and how quickly we can consume enormous amounts of videos and pictures. And what I found out throughout the years, the more social media you consume, the less confident you are. But why confidence matters? It's because confidence creates certainty in uncertain situations. People with confidence can handle conflict better and they can create compelling future for themselves. That's why I think being confident in yourself and your abilities is so crucial, especially when you're trying to be a filmmaker or an artist. Creative people are often shy and not confident at all in what they're producing or creating. A confident artist or filmmaker is so much more effective and dangerous in producing art, simply because they are so much more certain about their abilities. Of course, the other side of being confident is being shy, and this happens to all of us. When I was in school, I was a really shy person, but when I started college, everything changed. Having the most amazing art teacher changed me and the way I approach life and art. He didn't teach me art, he taught me how to be confident and believe in myself as a person and as an artist. Not all of us have teachers or mentors in our lives, but we can definitely teach ourselves how to stop being shy or be less shy. I think in most cases, shyness is all about accepting yourself. Most shy people think that they are just not good enough or that something is wrong with them, or even that they will be rejected if they act or say something wrong. And for sure, I, I felt that way in most of my school days. But what I personally did to overcome my shyness is I changed only the word, shy, into quiet. Being quiet is so much different than being shy. People who are quiet are able to analyze the room and people around them first and are able to gather all the information before speaking and sharing their opinion. So it's so much better to be a quiet person than a shy person. Shy person don't want to speak at all, but quiet person know when to speak. So I changed from being shy to being quiet. I used my shyness and transformed it into analyzing everything that's around me to get more information and to be smarter than the other guy. Speech is silver, but silence is golden. Remember that. If you're a shy person, try to use that as your advantage or transform your shyness into something that you can use in your life. This next thing is even hard for me because I used to and still do overthink things. And what I would say is don't dwell too much on your decisions or the things that you want to do. Yes, we have to sometimes analyze and calculate the things that we want to do so that we can make better decisions. But these things shouldn't take more than, you know, an hour or two or even a day or two. Overanalyzing can easily transform into procrastination. And the more we analyze certain decisions, the more time we can waste. For me, overthinking very often can lead to trying to be perfect with my videos, with my editing, with my art. And that can also lead to spending so much time on just one video. Of course, there's nothing wrong trying to be perfect, but you have to be aware that there's no such 
such a thing as perfection. Yes, we can try to be precise and don't make mistakes, but don't let perfection or overthinking drag your projects or decisions that you have to make. Many people say that good enough is better than perfect. And I agree with that to some extent. It doesn't mean that you can't strive for perfection. Every good enough step will lead you to be closer to perfection. So don't just be good enough. Try to be as perfect as you can with every good enough step. We all have these, we all have these voices and whispers in our ears. I shouldn't do this. What others would think about me? What if I fail? We often let these voices choose the path for us. We sometimes think too much about what others will say about us or how they react. But if we're gonna think about those things all the time, I can guarantee you that you will never be able to start anything or achieve your goal. To have clear goals is to have clear mind and not focusing on opinions of others, but rather concentrating on the steps that you have to take to reach your goal and to reach success. Few negative comments or few bad opinions by people who don't really know you or don't know your goals shouldn't be a life-changing moment. Having strong mind and being able to handle negative comments or even negative feedback when it comes to your videos, your art, your filmmaking is a part of the process and you have to understand that process in order to grow. You need feedback from others so you know that your videos are good or not. But the key to success is how do you handle that negative feedback? There are two ways to do that. The first one is you can totally ignore the negative feedback and don't apply anything. The second one is you can take into account the negative feedback and apply in your work. But there's also a third option that I prefer. The third option is that you don't have to agree with all of the negative feedback. You can basically choose the things that you agree and don't agree with. I use this method because it kind of shapes me as an artist and makes my videos and myself kind of original. Through that method, you are able to showcase your opinion and how you perceive the world through editing and videos. If you apply these skills and tips, I can say that you'll be able to find your path to success. The only thing that stands between you and success right now is a bit of work and healthy mindset. So get to it. And as always, edit more, get inspired, watch, and you'll observe more than the rest can see. See you in the next one. My name is Adrian and I'm here. My name is Adrian and I'm here to help. My name is Adrian and I'm. My name. My name. My name. My name. No 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 no. No 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 no.